Hi guys! So welcome na naman sa ating panibagong video tutorial. Ngayon sasagutan naman natin itong problem na related sa subject na strength of materials. So to start, basahin muna natin yung problem. A 12 inches square steel bearing plate lies between an 8 inches diameter wooden post and a concrete footing. Determine the maximum value of the load P if the stress in wood is limited to 1800 PSI and that in concrete to 650 PSI. Ito yung figure. So meron daw tayong wooden post with a diameter of 8 inches. And sa baba ng ating wooden post, meron tayong steel bearing plate. Where yung dimension ng bearing plate natin is the same sa ating concrete footing with a dimension of 12 by 12. Meaning, they are both square. So yung allowable stress meron yung ating wood is limited daw to 1800 PSI. The other side naman, yung ating concrete is may allowable stress lang na 650 PSI. So hahanapin natin yung maximum value ng load P para hindi masira or hindi lumagpas sa allowable stress yung solve solution so solution consider muna natin yung wood so sa wood what is the free body diagrams ng ating wood so ito siya okay so it is in two dimensional form where ito yung ating force p okay so ito yung ating wood so, kailangan natin ikat yan kasi dyan, dyan lang yung focus natin. Wherein, kailangan natin hanapin yung force P in terms of strength ng ating wood. So, yung stress ng ating wood is limited lang sa 1,800 PSI. So, once you apply force going up downward, so, merong normal stress na nagaganap sa ating wood. So, meron siyang force na going upward in order to resist, okay, the force P natin. Okay? So, this is called force P in terms of the wood or PW. So, this is an example of normal stress wherein two forces is either compression or tension form. Okay? So, compression, two forces uh, acting toward each other while in tension form, uh, magkabaliktad sila. So, yung arrow nila is magkasalungan. So, dito, we can find the value of P. So, yung, ano yung formula ng ating stress? So, we have stress of wood is equals to P over A. Where in A, yan yung cross-sectional ng ating wood. So, what is the value of stress ng ating wood? So, meron tayo 1,800 PSI or simply pound per inch squared is equals to P which is yung unknown. Then yung cross-sectional area ng ating wood, we have 50.265 inch squared. And then, itong 50, mumultiply natin sa 1,800. Therefore, yung inch squared natin is makakancel out.
tayo maglalagay ng cutting section sa ating concrete footing. Okay, so pag meron tayong force P na going downward, so normally merong magbabounce back na force from the concrete footing. And that is called, oh, sabihin na natin, PC. So force at concrete footing. So what is the formula for stress? Pareho lang din, but magkaiba lang yung value ng uh, variable natin. So stress at C was P over A. Yung A, yan yung cross-section na ng ating concrete. So, stress C, C was to 650 pound, PSI or simply pound per inch squared equals P over yung cross-sectional area na ating concrete yung 144 inch squared. So, mumultiply natin yan dito. So, magiging 650 pound over inch squared multiply to 144 inch squared plus P. So, ito yung minimin ko na makakancel out yung inch squared. So, yung matitirang unit is pound. So, P. So, you can use your calculator. Yung makukuha natin ng P is 93,600 pound. Okay? So, we have two value of P in one problem. So, the question kasi, um, determine the maximum value of P if the stress in wood is limited to 1,800 PSI and that in concrete to 5,650 PSI. So, kinoconsider natin yung dalawang deformable bodies natin which is yung wood and yung concrete. So, ano yung magiging value ng P natin we'd consider sa mga allowable stress ng ating concrete footing and yung wooden post natin. So, dalawa yung nakukuha natin uh, maximum value of 4P. Okay? So, pag may lumabas sa inyong exam or quiz and ito yung A and ito yung B ano yung isasagot mo na maximum value ng P? So, kung B yung sinagot mo maximum kasi mataas. So, B is not the ideal answer. So, A is the correct answer. So, bakit A? Kasi, if you use 93,600 as the maximum value for first P in this kind of figure, so kung gagamitin natin P max itong 93,600, isa-substitute natin dito sa ating wood. So, 93,600 divided by cross-sectional area ng ating wood, which is 50.265. Makukuha tayo ng 1,862 na uh, allowable stress. However, yung allowable stress lang ng ating wooden post is limited lang to 1,800 pounds. And ito is much higher compared to its limiting value. So therefore, when you use P greater than with this value, so for example, ito yung ginamit natin P, madedestroy yung ating wooden post. Okay? So madideform siya, or hindi lang madideform, so masisira siya kasi Ito lang yung limiting value ng wooden post natin. So, dito, sa concrete, okay siya. Kasi, this is the P max for concrete. However, let's consider sa ating isa pang, isa pang deformable body, which is yung wooden post. So, okay siya dito, but hindi siya okay dito. So, ma-overload yung ating uh, wooden post. So, therefore, ito yung magiging... Uh, maximum value ng P natin wherein pag substitute natin yung P dito sa wooden post so 90,477 divided 50.265 oops 265 okuha tayo ng 1,800 so pasok siya and dito so ganun pa rin 90,447 divided by 144 okay so yung magiging value natin would be 628 so pasok siya so ibig sabihin itong stress natin is yung boundary nila meaning hindi ka na pwedeng lumampas sa